Jesus Christ did not say, I am God, worship me. Now, if there's a Christian in this room that can tell me that Jesus said in his own words, not Matthew, not Mark, not Luke, not John, not Paul, but Jesus said, I am God, worship me, then we will raise $5,000 for you tonight before you leave. Break your Bibles out. Call somebody up. Go make a phone call. Get the verse. You'll never find it. You'll find somebody else's word alluding to that. You'll find somebody else's reference appearing that. But Jesus never said to anybody, I am God, worship me. He said, my father, he didn't say my father who art in heaven because he was not exclusively the servant of God. He said, when he taught them how to pray, I used to be a Christian. I still love Jesus Christ. I'm still connected to his message. I know it very well. He said, and you know that he said, our father, didn't he say that? He didn't mean our father in the sense that he gave birth to us, but he said, our Lord, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, not my name, not our name. Thy kingdom come, not my kingdom come, not our kingdom come, if he's part of the Trinity, if he's divine, if he's part of God, or he's next to God, he will say, our kingdom come. He said, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Did he say that? Did he say that? So now, if he said, give us this day our daily bread, that means Jesus and his mother could not have been divine. Because if he said, give us this day our daily bread, you and I, we eat and we drink. Jesus and his mother, they ate and they drank. And you know and I know that when you eat and drink, the body only uses some of it. The rest of it, the body evacuates. Now, can you imagine God defecating and urinating? Let's move on with the Lord's Prayer. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who do what? Trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, huh? But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Now, does this sound like God praying to you? Did you ever think about that? Now, that's the Lord's Prayer. That's the evidence of that. Now, we know Jesus said that. That wasn't Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Paul. Jesus said that. <coughs> Dear brothers and sisters and guests, go home tonight and palm through all the pages of your Bible, and I guarantee you will never find it once anywhere. So where did this come from? In three or four different occasions, it is mentioned in your scripture that I have read throughout my life before I became a Muslim that Jesus walked off and he fell down on his face and he worshiped God. Did he say that? Now, is that God bowing down to himself? Is that God calling on himself? No, Jesus said, I am Jesus who is sent. And the one who is sent is not like the one who sent me. Jesus said, I can of my own self do nothing. But whatsoever the one orders me, the one who sent me tells me to do, that is what I do. We cannot take Jesus out of the context of what Jesus said himself and make Jesus what we want him to be. We can't make Jesus a man God because the Romans and the Greeks had men gods. Because Jesus said, take not my message unto the Greeks, the Romans, the Samaritans for my message. And I was sent to whom? The lost sheep of the tribe of Israel. Isn't that what Jesus said? So Paul was mistaken when he said, I became apostle to the Gentiles. Jesus said, don't take my message to them. 
Brothers and sisters, we can immediately see by such an example and definition that Jesus Christ himself submitted himself to God, that Moses and Abraham submitted themselves to God, that Isaac and Ismael submitted themselves to God, that John the Baptist submitted himself to God, and submission means surrender, and surrender means salama, salama. The one who does that is called Muslim. So what was Jesus? What was Abraham? What was Moses? What was David?